Hey everyone, welcome back to the Building Your First Lens tutorial series. If you're watching this video, it's because you chose to make the selfie experience. If you didn't choose that, then you should go back to the first video. So let's dive right in and open up Lens Studio, and let's start another new project. Selfie lenses, or lenses that open on the front camera, usually feature the person. This means we will want to add objects and effects to our lens that are centered around the person using that lens. Let's try finding an accessory in the asset library to add to the user. We can click the asset library button located at the top left. If we search for the baseball cap in the search bar, we will find something called the baseball cap controller. Click import and wait for it to show up in the asset browser. Once it shows up, click on the arrow button and open the dropdown, and you'll see a green icon. This is called a prefab, which means we can drag it into the scene hierarchy and add it to our scene. Now that it's in the scene, you'll see it in the scene panel and the preview panel, but it's not tracking to the person's head just yet. If we expand the scene hierarchy panel, we'll see that it says put under head binding. The head binding is a tool that allows us to track objects to the person's head. So let's add it to our scene by clicking the plus icon, then searching for the head binding and clicking it. Now we can click and drag the baseball cap controller under the head binding. But for some reason, it's still not showing up on the user's head. Let's take a closer look in the scene panel. We can rotate the view by right clicking, then dragging the mouse in the scene panel. Once we rotate to the side, we can see that the baseball cap is too far behind the head binding. Let's click on the baseball cap controller object and look at its properties in the inspector panel. We can see that in the position section, the Z axis is offset by negative 40 units. If we change that number to zero, it'll center the hat on the head perfectly. Now let's customize the hat. If we click on the yellow script object called baseball cap controller, edit me, we will see a whole bunch of options that we can customize in the inspector panel. Let's start by adding our own logo. I'll go to the asset browser, click the plus icon, and click import asset to bring in my own image, which will be the Lens Studio logo. Remember that if you want to bring in an image with a transparent background, make sure that it's a PNG file type. Once we see our image in the asset browser, let's go back to the baseball cap controller, and let's click on the logo texture and replace it with our image. Now that looks pretty good. Let's adjust the logo a little bit and then play around with the other options like the cap color, the brim curve, and the hat tilt. Once we have something that we like, we are all set. This custom hat looks pretty cool on its own, but let's spice it up by adding something more. This is where you get to make your next choice. Would you like to do a little basic scripting and add some custom interaction? Or would you like to use the Gen AI suite and add something new? Go ahead and click on the option you like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.